Hi, I'm Phil, and today I'm going to start a, a new series of videos on electronic music. And the one that I've been working on over the last couple of days has been the Korg Volker Modular. It's an interesting way to um, learn music or learn electronic music uh, by patching different modules together yourself. So what is it? It's a, um, a replica of an analog synthesizer. And if we actually look at the uh, types of synthesizers, uh, this one uh, was released by uh, Korg in 2019. And it contains not only modules, but a uh, sequencer for 16 steps. And um, just looking at uh, the construction of it, uh, that's the faceplate on top. On the bottom, we've got the um, touch plates uh, where you can um, create music by touching the keys. And um, if we actually look at it, it goes back, um, it's got an origin uh, relating to the West Coast design of synthesizers. And here are the a couple of people that are the pioneers in that area. So you can see that um, even the colour shape of the um, Korg modular is very similar to um, the original colour scheme on the um, uh, Buchler musical easel that goes back to the 1960s and early 1970s. So uh, this is quite ancient. And, but it's still a very good way to um, learn about um, electronic music. And um, the components, well, there's eight modules that can be patched together so that there is a default patch. But um, so you can start playing straight away. But in addition to that, you have um, on the far left, you've got oscillators on the top as a sequencer. Uh, a sample and hold, which is called the Woggle. And below that, you have the envelope function generators that allow you to change the shape uh, of the oscillator waveforms. And those oscillator waveforms, there's two of them, and you can combine them as either AM or FM uh, musical synthesizers. Then moving across, we've got the signal splitter, and uh, we've got the... Um, dual low-pass gates. And on top of that, we have the CV in. Now, we don't have um, MIDI in, and so uh, in this video, I'm going to explore the CV in project and um, how I use little bit um, electronic modules to create um, a sound source uh, that drives the Volker modular. And on the far right, we've got the uh, space and uh, we have a utility module that there where we can uh, create our AM and uh, FM modulation. So let's go across to the projects that I've been working on. And uh, just before we do the projects, uh, you have to learn some of the basic patches. So if um, you want to create the modulator as a uh, second voltage control oscillator, what you have to do is get the wires that come with the package and connect them between the modules, like these very simple ones here. So the next one is low frequency modulation. And uh, the last one's an interesting one, the ring modulator. And there are much more complicated ones that you can um, progress to. Um, so uh, my projects, I've done a couple of them. And the one that I'm interested in is um, using the CV control from Little Bit Electronics. And it looks a bit like this. This is um, the uh, desktop arrangement that I have. And uh, just looking at that a little bit closer, on top I've got the um, Little Bit um, sequence. 
of creating a gate that goes to the CV output of the um, CV module, and that goes into the, um, the Korg modular. And just below that, there's a second arm that creates a sequence from four analog potentiometers, and that goes into the pitch control of the uh, Korg modular. There's a Korg modular, and I'm using a donor portable speaker arrangement. So the objectives here are to um, see how CV works. And um, in a, a bigger picture, I'm interested in the gate and pitch control of the um, modular uh, using those CV inputs. And I'm going to adjust the um, notes using a, a little bit micro sequencer for the pitch control. So let's have a look at the hardware that I'm using. So I've got a Korg modular and I've a number of um, modules from little bits from the micro sequencer, the dimmer, uh, branches, the CV module, uh, a prototype. So you can either use the CV or the prototype. And I'm using the number module as a voltmeter. And that helps me uh, to uh, maintain reliable connections between the little bit modules. And I could use a uh, speech uh, or a, a um, speaker uh, with an oscillator instead of feeding that into the um, uh, Volca modular. Everything's powered by USB. And uh, this is the arrangement. So you can see on top how I've got it all connected. And I'm using uh, stereo uh, jack on the Korg modular. And that um, is split up into mono 3.3 millimeter jacks that feed into the uh, CV modules on little bits. And um, what I'm interested in doing is using the uh, modular CVN and connecting it to the envelope generator. And that's my gate control. And um, the uh, oscillators are uh, connected to the CVN pitch control. And this is my patch. And um, I've taken that patch from the book. So we might actually look at some of my references. So we'll uh, just go up to references and go to books. And that's the book that I'm using. And I got that book from um, the Amazon store. And the author, uh, Tony Horgan, not only has a, a, a book with uh, many patches, uh, but he also has um, YouTube videos that are worth um, watching. And that's the way to learn um, modular music synthesis. Overall, I'm very happy with it. It uh, works quite well. I'm looking at um, synthesizers with uh, CV control, and I've got it working with little bits. And it can be used um, as a demonstration in STEM education. And what's also good about it is that um, while little bits is five volt system, the uh, Volca modular is a 3.3 volt system, but it also has voltage control on the inputs. And that um, allows me to, uh, to work without having to use a voltage translator. I guess the bad bits are it doesn't have MIDI programming. They're, they're not really serious uh, pro uh, issues. Um, the power supply is quite expensive. Uh, particularly if you're using batteries, they only last a few hours. Uh, and the patches, the DuPont um, patches make fairly poor connections. So you have to make sure that um, you've got a proper connection there. So stay tuned and I'll give you a demonstration on the desktop. Here we have the uh, Korg Volker modular and it has eight modules that um, are connected together or can be connected together with patches so to provide a patch you take a, a wire like this and you connect it between patch points 
and these patch points are on the beginning and the end of the modules. So uh, on the left we've got um, the oscillators. Uh, there are two of them here. They're um, triangular waves and one is a sawtooth. Uh, they're, well, they're both sawtooth waves. One is the carrier. So the carrier is here and the controls for the pitch of the carrier are here. And we have the modulator and the outputs of that uh, are on the um, pins that are connected by the uh, cables. And um, in the centre, as we move across to the right, we've got the uh, envelope function generators, and there are two of those. They change the shape with the attack and the decay, the shape and the time knobs. And um, moving further on, we've got the dual low-pass gates. And um, below those, we've got uh, a utility that um, allows us to add or subtract other outputs. And uh, as we go along to the right, we have the uh, space module that gives us um, a reverberation. The one we're going to look at today is the um, CV in, and uh, this Korg uh, Volker modular does not have MIDI in, so um, we have to use the uh, CV in as a uh, alternative. Um, in addition to the uh, modules for processing analog signals, uh, there's digital for space, and there's a sequencer uh, on here. But there's also a, um, a global sequencer, and you can um, chain up to 16 notes. So let's turn one on. So we see the notes going across or one of the sequences. So we just turn that off. So I'm going to um, connect the system as the uh, instruction book for the Cork mod Modular by uh, Tony Horgan. And uh, the one I'm interested in is uh, calibrating and tuning the uh, CV carrier. So uh, we're going to do this one, and we're going to do pitch control uh, for patching. So we're going to do this patch, which is in the book. And um, what I've done is to connect the CV, the uh, pitch control of the CV is going to go into the um, uh, source control for uh, uh, controlling our carrier oscillator. And the other one, the gate one, goes into the envelope um, shaper. And the input uh, of our CV is here, and it uh, is connected via uh, two 35 millimeter um, jacks into this arrangement. And what I've got here is um, I'm using little bit electronics. So with the little bit of electronics, we've got a power supply on the uh, left. And as we move towards um, the upper branch, we've got a simple potentiometer controlling a CV gate and a uh, voltmeter. So um, all we're doing here is when we adjust the potentiometer, we change the voltage. And that goes in uh, via this connection to our CV in for the gate. And um, when it's uh, above the threshold, it allows us to uh, control the other branch, which is uh, this one here. And what we've got is a sequencer, four sequencers, uh, and we adjust the amplitude with the uh, potentiometers, four of them. And um, we can adjust the frequency uh, by this slider. And to turn it on, all I have to do now is just go to the volume control you can see that now. So as I turn down the gate, it will turn off the um, triggering. And if I turn it up, we have it on. And we can adjust. So I'm adjusting the potentiometer on the little bits. And that's the uh, call Volker Modular, and it's a, uh, a modular synthesizer.